March was an up and down kind of a month. We had some really good rains um, and a lot of cooler weather, but also quite sustained periods where it was just cool but not wet. And um, a few of the plants have struggled with that. Those that are doing well really love this weather. It's still relatively long daylight hours and beautiful sunsets and sunrises. Um, but some plants are still finding it a bit dry, which has been a bit of a struggle to remember that they still have to go out and give water, even though it seems so much cooler. Sadly, the agapanther season has finished in March, so there are no more beautiful purple pom-poms floating in the breeze, but it does also bring the beginning of the wattle season, and I was lucky enough to capture for this video what I think was the first open wattle blossom on the property. And towards the end of the month, I've taken some footage of more of the flowers being open and the beautiful yellow of that in the twilight. It will be completely smothered next month so that should make for some really lovely pictures in April. The vegetable season is kind of waning now with the increase in damp there's a lot of nasty powdery mildew which has effectively ended the zucchini season and is having a good go at the cucumbers but we have got a couple of cucumbers much to my delight because I've never particularly successfully grown cucumbers before and the silver beet is really loving it as well as the rocket which almost drowned in the initial torrential rains, being in the trough. It's an old washing trough, um, which floods quite badly, but it has come back since we've had some more sun and the, the water's drain, dried up a little bit more. So that's been good. The really striking thing about the March garden is the number of bright geraniums all over the place and the first emergence of the nasturtiums which we know will completely invade and cover the property by the end of winter. These are something that grandma rather liked. Some people do think of them as a weed but they're edible flowers and produce capers and uh, have a kind of radishy 
hot taste, not for those who don't enjoy horseradish. Um, they are quite pretty, they come in all shades of red to yellow with oranges and variegated versions of those colours blended and they do really swamp the property. If you get one, you're going to get them everywhere. So they're probably a thing best grown in pots elsewhere, but on this property they are quite lovely, part of the landscape. With autumn on the way, we see a few changes in the insect life and other living things around the property, and less of the lizards because they like the warmth of the summer. Um, a lot more other bugs, unfortunately whitefly on the vegetables, um, but also some quite pretty things. This caterpillar here is very lovely, you mustn't touch him, as I learned as a child. He gives you a nasty stinging feeling on the finger if you do touch his little spines. March has been a very pretty month, a bit drier than I would have hoped, so we hope that we will have quite a lot of rain in April and that that will bring a lot of lovely fresh green and sprouting bulbs and other beautiful new things to the property.